Hey everyone, this is Jenny Garcia and this is a project life process video using the June kit from Studio Calico. And I love this kit. It's my favorite one this year, so I had to use it immediately. But I wanted to work on my 2020 album because I really want to be done with old projects. I'm always super behind. That's my MO. Uh, the good thing is I don't run out of projects, but still I'm always so behind so I'm looking through the cards and I'm gonna be switching a few of the cards often like I changed my idea for the be your very best card a bunch of times and then ended up using it anyways and this is one of the kits that every card every side is absolutely gorgeous and perfect so I had a lot of places to pick, but at the same time, I didn't want to cover any of the really cool patterns. And uh, that one with that says today is a perfect one for journaling. So that was one that I knew that I wasn't going to switch. But I wanted to show enough of the cards to like just to show how pretty they are. But also, I didn't want to like waste them, which sounds silly, but that is why I picked this just plain grid yellow because I'm going to cover a lot of it anyways. And one of the cool items in this kit was the number stamp. Now, the one that comes in the kit is the outline. The other one, you, it's, the, it's an add-on that you have to get it works either way you can either le just use the outline and color it with marker or just leave the outline plain but I do like combining both however I felt like the quality of the stamp that comes in the kit is not as good as the filler or shadow however you want to call it I think it's because it's part of a kit, then you have to bring the quality down a smidge so you can fit it in the budget. I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, so I'll allow it. It's not perfect, but it's very, very cute. And it's and for the price that you get with the whole kit, it's actually a pretty good deal. Now, along with the kit, uh, they had the Color Theory Alpha for one dollar and I got a few of those I absolutely love anything color theory I think it's the coolest thing to fit the little gaps in the kits and however I have to say that the kit doesn't really have any gaps it's just that I love over embellishing and adding things and here I thought that I was gonna put uh, half of the word on top and the other one at the bottom but with the case kind of difficult so I just figured that I would put the whole thing together so you don't need extras but I love over, over embellishing I do wish that the color theory had a version of these with numbers um, I also love the labels they should do little word stickers with like everyday stuff studio calico call me I got ideas <laughs> uh, their kits are awesome and, you know, anything that I'm saying is just extra stuff that I like to add. This sheet of the labels is from another kit, but then they had a big $1 sale. And this was one of the few items that they had there, which was really awesome. But not this month, it was a few months back. And the date stamp is also from Studio Calico, and I'm loving it a lot. This grid washi tape is from Pipsticks. And I just love layering everything with washi. It goes back to the over embellishing thing. And I always like to add a few extras. This sticker sheet was my favorite item in the whole kit. The whole kit was like a slam dunk. But uh, I, I love the strawberries. I don't know why they're so cute. And then they had a bunch of little flowers and stars that I can always use in clusters 
with little word stickers or washi tape or like I'm doing here next to other items. And I love how this card turned out. I, when I saw it, I never really envisioned using it as a title card. At least I don't think so. Uh, but it turned out really well. And this is just a photo that I texted my husband and I ended up printing it. It was a photo of me waiting in line when I got, I had to renew my license, which I hate. Everyone looks like a weird alien in their photos. They have like an ugly filter. You know that house of mirrors that like distorts how you look? I swear they have one of those like attached to the camera. <laughs> so I'm going to use the alphas that came in the kit. now. Black is usually not my first go-to color, but uh, I wanted to use these. I love the font. It's an awesome size and the font is really nice. But uh, I wanted to use it because it was on the kit. If it wasn't on the kit, I probably would have used any other alpha in color. But it was a good decision because the alphas really popped against the green from the card. And this is a card that even though it looks it looks perfect for a journaling card but I ended up using it to mat one of these 3 by 3 photos and it's perfect. It's actually a little bit smaller than 3 by 3 I do it on purpose. I feel like if I put something like right in the middle and I don't have anything breathing on the sides of the photo it looks a little awkward so by leaving that it's a little like a half an inch uh, like a quarter on each size maybe a little less it kind of really frames the photo nicer and nicely sorry and that day we were playing Pokemon Go because they uh, I made them go outside <laughs> They're indoor seat like me, so I'm a hypocrite being like, go outside, but hey. So my plan was to write Pokemon like separated, but um, then the P would fit a little weird uh, on the top. So I had to put the stickers on them, which I don't love doing. It's not a bad thing to do. It's just it personally bothers me if someone else does this I'm not even gonna notice but because I'm doing it I'm gonna be like extra picky about it and I'm gonna go again with these super cute puffy stickers and I felt like it needed something on the top to like draw your eyes in a diagonal way and those little word stickers are ancient they are from freckle font and I love it because they're vellum so you can see through which is a good thing but when you want to put it on top of something you may want to add washi tape or a label although they I don't think they exist anymore they're really old and this is a picture we took at a store we discover right in, during the pandemic and it's called third eye they have a few stores that this one was the one in Annapolis, which is really big. It's actually two stores. They're divided by some government thing in the middle that it's so tiny and insignificant that I'm pretty sure that everyone's like, why don't you just disappear and move and leave it to them? But, or maybe it's just me. Uh, but it's an amazing store. If you're into nerdy stuff, Funko Pops, um, comic books, obviously, board games so the side on the left is a bunch of comic books t-shirts plushies stuff for kids and on the right they have a bunch of board games uh pieces if you play DD, dice pokemon stuff and i used that yes please i thought it was perfect and i have to think about this card for a while because i thought that it would be confusing to have the weak and you know the sentiment be your very your very best and i didn't want to cover too much of the strawberries too because i like those
and at first I thought of just using the outline in black. I wanted to pop a little bit but not too much that it would like take attention away from the strawberries. Then I needed something to add the dates. Then I figured that it washed too much and it looked like your 33. So I just decided to add the red and this is the poppy ink from Studio Calico from Color Theory. And these are ancient stickers from Simple Stories the Snap Collection. I don't know if you can find them anymore. Maybe they have something similar now. And I'm going to use the same Pseudo Calico roller date stamp to stamp the dates. And I'm going to use that old Simple Stories roller stamps because I have a lot of roller stamps. I have my favorite ones. I have them in a row and my favorite ones are the date stamps which are a little bit to the front and then a few that I like to use to divide the dates. So I try to use a few of them as much as I can. And I wanted to add more strawberries to just fit with the theme on the card. And now you can see both things be your very best and the weak. So I'm pretty pleased. I tried to keep it to a minimum like I usually don't do. And there was a space that was not relevant in that photo. So I always take advantage of those space to either stamp or to add a little cluster of embellishments. And since this is chipboard, I always like to like push it down a little bit because usually the prongs on the back like stick out a little bit and scratch on the photo behind it. So that way I kind of like close them and it makes like the chipboard a little bit more, less prominent on that part. And this is one of the items that the girls got, my kids got from that store. And I like to keep packaging. I always say that packaging in a few years is going to change. And my first thought was to remove the price. But I didn't because I'm pretty sure that in the future that's going to seem either dumb <laughs> or very cheap or that depends and the container was like a yogurt and it had like a little uh cover at the top so i just kept that and i used this awesome card for my handwritten journaling which i'm trying to do more often first because it takes a little less time and because i really want to use my handwriting I think it's very important to use your handwriting so anyone in the future that maybe knew who you were can see your handwriting and I, I always remember my family members handwriting it's something that I really like and I wish I had something with my grandma's handwriting on it but sadly she passed away and I never even thought about it it was until then that one day it hit me about you know just looking at her grocery list how I know the font and the style that she used. So that then I realized that it was pretty important to leave the handwriting around it. And I like to keep also stuff that my kids write at school. My little one writes a bunch of stories and I like to keep them. She also adds illustrations. So I share with my Patreons last week um or this week well you're gonna see it this week but <laughs> i it was one of the videos i took whenever my kids finish school i go through all the crap they bring from the rest of the year 
And I always select a few important items to keep. And one of the items that I chose to keep were stories that my little one uh, wrote. So if your kids don't want to write on your Project Life album, you can always take like a picture of something they wrote. You can just take, you know, cut it to three by four, even if you lose a lot of the context and it's something that is not that important, like a grocery note or something like that. And here I did the same thing with taking that smaller square photo so I can frame it on the sides and I'm always going to add stuff on the top and right. These labels did not came with the kit. Those are again awesome color theory items that I like to add to my kits one in, once in a while. And I just layer it with washi and since I wanted to that little love this one uh, sentiment to pop out that's what I added makes it a little bit more obvious to the eye and this was a kit that I got in the mail I get I still get these um, what are they called Marvel collectors corp boxes from Amazon and this one is my favorite one ever I love every single thing about it and the items were way too cool and I took a little close up of my favorite Funko Pop which is Mystique turning to Wolverine. I have way too many Funko Pops. Also I had Animal Crossing photos because let's be honest I wasn't doing much <laughs> and my daughter is showing her Switch because she loved to play co-op and she liked visiting my island and she was always telling me to visit hers so and I also didn't back the items on, on the bottom where they have where there is like a packaging for another Tokidoki item. And I'm just gonna let that bleed into next week and then you can see the other side. And I have no problems with that. I actually love it and it's the same thing that I did with my everyday exporters. Thank you for shopping card. Uh, that's something that I might do more often. I'm pretty sure I've done it before, but I just really love how it turned out here. I think it's the see-through element. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.